Welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome so uh, today I filmed this like really easy glitter look using only two eyeshadows and I'll also be showing you guys tips to make applying glitter easier and this look is like affordable for the most part with the exception of a few products but if you guys would like to see how I got this look then just keep watching and if you're not subscribed please be sure to do so and I'll see you guys in my next video So first I'm going to start off by filling in my brows and I'm using the dip brow in ebony and I like to line the bottom first and then kind of fill in the sparseness and I keep my natural brow but I do make the arch just a tad bit higher um, just because I want to I guess and then I'm going to carve out my eyebrow using cool tan concealer um, and I like to use this like flat concealer brush from MAC and um I just like to get as close to my eyebrow as possible just so it can really be like carved out you know and I'm going to carve out the bottom and the top of it and I like to use the top part of the brush to kind of get really as close as I need to um, and then I'm going to be priming my eyes with the soft ochre paint pot and you literally do not need a lot of this a little goes a long way and I'm just going to buff that out all into my eye and it's so important that you always set primer with a shadow just to make a smoother surface for the eyeshadow to blend on and then um, once I do that I'm kind of going with this skin color this is really light I think it's even lighter than me but I kind of like that light color in the crease because once you carve it out it looks really good and it was almost a little too light so I did mix my skin color foundation powder in my crease as well just to make it a tad bit darker because I did not want my crease to be dark at all like I wanted to kind of be a nude glitter crease look if nude glitter a nude crease glitter look so yeah um, but so I feel like you'll probably have a better chance using your foundation color with this versus just using like a lighter brown shadow and then I'm going to carve out my um, crease of my eye and I like to look straight and then like kind of I don't like to look down too much because I want to make sure I cover my whole entire um, mobile lid space like I want to get the entire lid that you can see so when I look straight like the crease doesn't disappear um, and then once I carve it all the way out, I will be um, putting this shadow from the Nuvia, Nuvia, the Juvia's Place, um, Saharan or Masquerade. I forgot, it's from one of those, but I'm going to pack that on all over my eye. And I like to kind of press it and do small packing motions just to make it as opaque as possible. And this is my first tip for applying glitter. If you're going to wear wing liner, put the liner first before you do the glitter because if not it's going to be the it's going to be so bumpy if you put the glitter and then do the liner, it's going to be so bumpy, especially if you're using um gel liner. You're not even going to be able to do it. So, liquid liner is better for um when you're putting glitter on and then do the li the liner first. I'm telling you, it's going to make it so much easier, especially with the liquid liner, because then you can get as close to your lash, the line. Once you apply it, you can like, you know, you're free to apply the glitter everywhere else. But this just keeps it so your um, wing liner still looks crisp and clean and it doesn't look messy because I used to put the glitter on first and then I would put the wing liner on top and it would just look so nasty. But, um... Once I'm done creating this wing liner, I will be using this glitter from NYX, and I love their glitter so much. They're super affordable, and they're really good. Um, you're not even going to be able to see this glitter, and I'm so sad it does not pick up on camera. Oh, and I am using the NYX glitter primer, um, and I will be placing a little bit on my hands. And this is my next tip. When you apply it, I like to apply it on this flat brush right here. And I don't apply too much. I feel like less is more when applying glitter, especially glitter primer. And so I'm going to apply it in kind of like eyelash glue, how you let it get tacky. You want to do the same thing. I feel like it adheres better. And so now when I apply the glitter, I like to use, I don't use a lot. I take a little bit at a time and I pack it onto my eye because I don't want to get fallout. As you see, you can't really see anything falling out because I'm not using a lot and it's adhering straight to that primer. Um, but I like the shape of this brush. This allows me to get like right to those areas of my crease and get as close to like where the liner is. 
and just while keeping everything nice this glitter is so pretty and i'm so mad it's like white glitter with like um green reflex i don't know why it's not picking up like i was trying to get close so you guys could kind of see but you can't but um that's really how simple the eye look is and i'm done with that so i'll be using um this l'oreal 211 and 212 pro glow foundation i've been using this for a while and i really like it and I kind of just put it all over my face and then I'm buffing it out with my uh, Real Techniques foundation brush. And all of my foundation routine is the same so I will just let you guys watch this and I will be back when I am um, finishing off the rest of my face. So now I'm just going to be placing black liner in my waterline and I will tight line the top of my eyes and that'll just help to um, fill in any gaps and make the top part of my eye look black and I feel like it just kind of makes it look more small. But um, then I'm going to smudge out the bottom with black eyeshadow. I really want the bottom to be smoked out just since the top is not smoked out. I like to do this like I feel like it's a great way to still make a simple look look smoky and make it just like you know to like take it up a notch is to just smoke out the bottom part of your eye and um and then i'll be putting on my lashes i've been using the ardell double up just like i've been using like wearing all ardell lashes and i just love them so so much um but once i apply my lashes i will just be dusting off the rest of this powder off of my face and i do like to use my mineralized skin finish and dark deep to take away the powder off my face because it brings back the color in my face because sometimes you can start to look too ashy so if you do feel like you get ashy or you like look white when you dust away your translucent powder just use a powder the same color as you when you dust it away because that'll bring back that color but i'm just going to go back and deepen up my color contour if I lost it anywhere while I was um, taking away all the translucent powder and then I'm going to highlight my face and um, you're not going to see me do my lips in this video just because when I did them um, I changed it like I just did like a simple nude lip and then I did not like it at all so then I changed it after the video but I do have to say the Sephora brand liquid lipstick is so bomb and they're like $14 it is so bomb I love their liquid lipstick so much but what I will be doing is um, after, like before I put my mascara on at the bottom, I like to do the dots at the bottom of my eye. It just makes your, it makes it look like you have more lashes and it makes them look more voluminous, Volum voluminous, voluminous, you know. But um, yeah, then I'll just be setting to spray my makeup and um, adding my little fake mole in. And then that'll be it for the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you're not already subscribed, please be sure to do so. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And thank you guys so much for your continuous support.